Welcome to Slow and Steady, the podcast where you get to follow along as we try to figure out how to build and run a SaaS. I'm Brian. And I'm Benedict. Each week, we'll give you an honest peek into our lives as we work on our products and keep the lights on with consulting. Today is October 9th, and I'm feeling motivated. Uh, this is episode number 12, and I am feeling, I'm feeling motivated as well. I'm going to use Ooh. that one. <laughs> yeah. hey, it's, good to, it's good to catch up. It's good to see you. You're, you've been out of town. Yeah, I took the week off like last week uh, and just went to the south of Germany near the Alps and did some hiking, uh, climbed the mountain, uh, <laughs> saw, w- w- crossed some rivers and valleys. <laughs> Lovely. <Stuff like> that. <laughs> that sounds that sounds beautiful. What? So which which mountain did you? I mean, was the the mountain climb day? Was that like a real like full day? Yeah, we kind took of a hike. We took a lift uh, to like two thirds and then climbed the last third okay. because, like, I, yeah, I'm I, I I wouldn't manage like climbing the entire hill. Just like, <laughs> yeah, going there up there and then uh, to the to the summit. Uh, walk walk yeah. up to the summit and enjoy the nice weather and take some nice photos and yeah, that's that's it basically. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, here here in in Colorado the. So the the big like the the milestone measurement is fourteen thousand feet. So I'm not I can't do the meters calculation off the top of my head because I'm an American. Um, but what what was I the, can't do it either. <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> so I've I have only I've only done one fourteener in Colorado. There are fifty four, and so that's like a you know the people who are intense outdoors folks will you know, make it a, a mission to try to bag as many 14ers, uh, as they can. Um, so the, the one that, the one that you climbed, is it like a, a milestone achievement? To do that no, no. I mean, climbing is even an exaggeration. It's it was, there, there was a path there and oh, at yeah, the top yeah, there yes. was a, yes. there was a small restaurant. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. It was more like, it, it, it wasn't so much climbing as, uh, walking up a steep path <laughs> yeah yes that's well and that's and that is very much like the one the one that that i have done um where yeah i mean there's there's no tech there's no technical climbing you don't need gear you might be like yeah scrambling on all fours um but yeah cool, cool. yeah good, yeah good like to the, have you back there, there was a more advanced route but we didn't we didn't didn't even try it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gotcha. Well, so are you coming back um, with a clear head and and recharged and refreshed, or are yeah. you still feeling? Yeah. yeah, it worked pretty well for that. Uh, I feel a lot more motivated than in the weeks before, mm-hmm. and yeah, just getting getting more stuff done. As you can see behind me, like you as a listener, probably not, but. Uh, <laughs> Brian can see it in the video. (laughs) Yeah. I finally uh, managed to put up uh, posters to my office walls after like nine months or so in a new office. (laughs) Awesome. So I I feel motivated to get stuff done that has been laying around way too long. (laughs) Nice. Very nice. Well, so what are you, what are you going to be digging into development wise? I think when we last left off, kind of talking a little bit more about some experimentation on in-app messaging. Am I remembering that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's still that's still an ongoing topic. I, I'm hoping to make some progress on this this week, but so far I'm, I've been mostly doing catch-up uh, with mm-hmm. the stuff that, yeah, got left behind in the week uh, that I wasn't working. So, yeah, maybe maybe I get to it this week, but hopefully, like, uh, early next week I can, right. I can write some code again gotcha at least on that part yeah C- um client work catch up or user list catch up uh a little bit of both mostly client client work catch up um just moving things forward there the the facebook mm-hmm. export finished <laughs> during my oh right <laughs> during right. my vacation it took it took days <laughs> and uh yeah now that now that everything is exported i still have to um 
change the formatting a little bit so they can actually import it again and uh, yeah small stuff like that and um we also giving with user list we're giving podcast sponsorships a try so we have a <laughs> we got a very good deal on a, on a small uh, bootstrapping podcast and uh, that meant that we had to implement um discounts and coupon codes during the sign up okay. process so i've been taking care of of that part um this week cool which so which which podcast or how did you, uh, it's, how did you decide it's what boost, that process like bootstrapping sass oh uh, great so val reached out i think he actually posted in the mega maker slack uh looking for sponsorships and we figured it would it might be worth a try and his prices were very, very reasonable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we we booked uh I think we booked um a spot on three episodes. Okay. If I remember correctly. And yeah, we'll just see. Like there there will be a, a dedicated landing page for, for listeners and then they can get a get a nice discount when Great. they sign up. Yeah. Let's yeah, see that's, what that's happens. Val, Val who's building Claritask, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Well, Keep us posted. Hope that. Yeah. That what have you been up to uh, in the last week? I very much enjoyed the episode with Derek. Yeah, I, I very much enjoyed uh, our conversation. Yeah, so that was you know a week ago, um, and that that was I, I really enjoyed that. That was ended up being much more um, almost like interview style of you know uh, Derek talking about his experiences of doing what we're, do, what we're doing, um, trying to build things publicly and share the journey along the way, um, highs and lows and everything. And so that was, that was really good. Um, and then let's see. So on the remote work, doesn't have to be lonely project side of things. I'm finalizing the, the prototype, uh, functionality with the developer that I've been working with. Um, and just getting, yeah, just getting baseline functionality uh, in place. And so, to so just to kind of to recap, the very first thing that it that I'm building uh, that it will do is just it's just a straight up uh, Slack application. Um, we are we aren't building a web app yet. There's going to be no landing page, and so uh, it's just purely. Um, you know, that, that type of functionality. So the, the manager will be able to schedule when they will uh, ask these questions to their direct reports. Um, it, you know, you'll be able to customize the, the questions, although I've got like pop, you know, populated with seven um, that, that, that I've got in there based on uh, conversations I've been having. And then it will make a few recommendations to the, to the employee uh, based on, you know, if, uh, based on the, some of their responses um, and make recommendations to the manager as well. And so uh, that's, that's where it's going to, that's where it's going to begin. Um, functionality wise, it's coming together. It looks really clunky. And so that's, uh, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to do one round of just touch-ups so that it doesn't have to be perfect, but it at least, you know, at least presents, will present well. Um, and so then I'll start, yeah, then I'm going to start reaching out um, to, to the people I've, you know, been messaging with, had some interviews with, um, commented on that thread. Um, I'm in a couple of uh, remote work Slack groups. So I'll be, you know, hitting, hitting up people there as well. So that's, yeah, that's where, that's where that's at. Um, I actually have a, a three hour block of a call scheduled with the, with the developer later today to go all the way, you know, go through all of the code. Um, and uh, yeah, then I'll start. Nice. Advising, digging in. What technology are you building this on? Uh, node. And so that's why, so I've got this uh, call scheduled because I've like, I've tinkered around in node, but I mean, I, I just want to really get in, get in there and understand exactly how things relate to each other. Mm -hmm. and, um, been able to kind of make sense of it just like just in digging through, but there are a few things that, that I'm not a hundred percent certain of yet. Um, and been reading up on Slack's API and, 
seeing, oh, okay, that's that's what they're doing here. That's what this means. That makes sense. If I wanted to change this from this type of a question to a, a text area in a dialogue box, okay, this is where I would do that. So um, been able to make some sense of it there, but uh, that's, that's kind of the next step is mm. for me to feel like, okay, I can... Thank you so much for the pro- for the prototype. I can spend a week or two like really dialing in the experience, and we'll we'll go from there. So, that's mm-hmm. and is it is it like entirely Slack based, or is there some UI component outside of Slack as well? Nope. Right now, it's just Slack based. Awesome. Um, just to you know, we'll see if it. Yeah, if <laughs> if it works, uh, and uh, works in terms of do, does this does this help? Yeah, does this help managers and employees? Um, and then yeah, so, there there would obviously there will need to be a web app component that displays the results in an easier to read format. Um, right now, it just like dumps the results into the into a DM with the with the manager. Mm-hmm. So that's interesting. Um, like. I haven't. I, I only worked with the Slack API a little bit to just like post messages into a channel, and that's it. Mm-hmm. I, how does it work to that you can actually like manage the questions and stuff? Is it basically yeah. a chat interface, or, or like are you having like slash commands to add questions? Yeah, there's, or? yeah. There's well, so the the questions themselves are pre-populated in the node application. Mm-hmm. And then from there, you can say, hey, post this text and allow the user to respond either with a button or with like a text input or multiple choice. They, they give you like a variety of, of options. Mm. Um, and there's, you know, they, they kind of keep you within the bounds on some formatting things, but give you, give you a fair amount of options um, uh, otherwise. So that's, and that's what I'm continuing to, to educate myself on and learn is okay that looks kind of ugly oh i can switch it to this type of uh this type of interface that looks a little bit better you know so on there i mean there are a handful of of uh, already like well designed and well established um like poll taking and survey taking applications um that i'm i'm looking at to kind of get some ideas for for design patterns um, the big, the big thing here I'm feeling is going to be the, the display of the results to the manager so that it's easy to parse, easy to see overall, how are we doing and very quickly dig into, well, my, my one-on-one with Derek is in 15 minutes. What's the fastest and easiest way that, that my application can, um, yeah, can, can save them time there in, in prep and, in and, and in what the conversation ought to be centered around. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I, I didn't realize that Slack was that powerful in terms of like even even text input and stuff. Mm-hmm. Sounds kind of obvious, but like it sounds <laughs> like it's not it's not the it's not text input in the regular chat sense of way, but like in a dialogue or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. When I, That's when interesting. I yeah when I've got something, my my goal is to get it into like. Uh, a state of being able to like record a decent loom screencast of the thing working um, and then, and then start sharing that uh, and getting it installed on some, some other workspaces. So nice, when I, nice. when I have that, I'll be happy to, I'll, I'll shoot it your way. Yeah. I'm looking forward to see it yeah. um, and maybe even try it at some point. It's just like, I, yeah, I want to yeah. get my hands on it just to see how it works. <laughs> I love, uh, yeah, I would love, <laughs> love for you to get your hands on it and tell me how it works. Uh, tell me how it's working. <laughs> the um, let's see. I guess the other so the other update from my side is that I've uh, our the first six week cycle uh, on my, for my mastermind group um, wrapped up on Friday. So if uh, if you or people remember back from episodes like five ish and six, I'm gonna say. Um, uh, started this mastermind group with a couple of friends and the format being, let's do this for six weeks. Uh, and we will, you know, keep each other up to date on, we'll set some goals. We'll check in with each other. We'll see where things get. And so now that we're at the end of this six week cycle, um, we're going to borrow a pattern from, uh, (laughs) from shape up, (laughs) um, and say, okay, now we're going to take two weeks to cool down. Um, Mm -hmm. basically, you know, do some self-assessment on 
how what sort of progress did I make towards my goals? Um, do I do I still feel good about the goals that I initially set? Um, and what might I want to what might I want to do um, in this next upcoming six week cycle? So that's where that's where we're at there. But it sounds like you want to keep going with the mastermind group. Uh, I do, I do. Uh, that'll be part of the check in with the, and my my sense is that the other two do as well. Um, it was really I found it to be really helpful. Um, yeah, I I, I did. Um, there's, I think it was just having the the accountability, knowing that 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 the check in was coming. Um, just makes it feel like, yeah, it, it, it just provided a little bit of additional oomph. You know, the, the motivation really needs to come from, you know, it needs to be intrinsic and needs to be internal. Um, but also it definitely helps to have a, you know, some mile marker. I'm going to be taught, you know, going to be, I, I said, this is what I wanted to do and why. Okay, people are going to be asking me about that, so so stick to it. Um, I found that to be I found that to be helpful. Um, and seriously, this this podcast as well. I mean, this has been a huge motivator. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree. Cool, cool. Yeah. So that's that's where that's at. Where what's what's happening with your mastermind group? How's how's that going for you still? Um, it's still it's still going. Um, okay. Had a call with my more informal mastermind group uh, yesterday. Ended up uh, suggesting one of them to quit their job. <laughs> that's a big okay. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> or at least start thinking about it. So, yeah, uh, things are happening. Still happening in the in the mastermind groups. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one, I, I'm not even sure when our next meeting is. Um, with a lot of vacations and stuff, I kind of lost track. Actually, I don't, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, but um, I, I still enjoy uh, enjoy the mastermind groups and uh, outside check on everything. Yeah, that that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but like this podcast, as you said, is also filling that role more and more. Mm -hmm. Like. Basically, the entire week, I'm, whatever, whatever I'm working on, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about, okay, should I be doing this or will this be like, I should probably make some progress on the things I report on every week and maybe I should work on something else instead <laughs> of this, this thing or so. Yeah. So yeah, that's a, <laughs> it's definitely helping to keep me on track. Yeah. And that's, I, I think that's a good thing. I, I, I agree with you. I feel like it's also... I mean, so far anyway, it has worked wonderfully as this um, this balance between, you know, set, setting goals for the sake of it. Like that's that's not super good. Um, there's all sorts of stuff being written and talked about, you know, on that. On the other end of the spectrum, just complete no boundaries, willy nilly, going to work on what I feel like when I wake up. Uh, you probably just end up moving an inch in every direction and you're just not gaining mm. momentum anywhere. But, you know, when you've got a, a, some sort of structure that has a degree of flexibility, you know, within it, um, it, it, it feels like, it feels like a really great, really great balance. So the next, uh, I guess I'll say, and then I want to ask you a couple, couple things, uh, specifics. Like, um, I mentioned that, the very next thing that I'm working on, um, just first of all, is like confirming that the functionality, like the bare functionality is in place. Then I want to do a round of experience touch-ups. Um, I really do feel like getting a name for it is going to need to be, is, is a pretty important part of like making it demoable to, to serious yeah. companies. Um, it's like, hey, so-and-so manager at Full Story. Remember that remote work doesn't have to be lonely project that I was talking to you about? So um, that's going to be, that's going to be my, another thing that I got to, that I got to start thinking about. Yeah, um, yeah, I was, I was, I was wondering, did he ever mention a name for this? No, I, no, <laughs> I don't remember. But I feel yeah, like it doesn't, I mean, doesn't have a name. A name is important, but um, I think like for the first round of feedback, you don't, you don't really need it. Yeah, like don't let that yeah. stop you from okay talking to people. 
All right. Because like, especially if you have a relationship with them already, you can, you can show them, Hey, I've been working on this potential solution to, to the, to the thing. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I definitely don't need to spend a day and a half in sketch doing branding. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, let's, um, let's hold your feet to the fire just a little bit. (laughs) 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 That was the most nervous laugh. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> where where are you where are you at and how are you feeling about the in-app messaging project because that's that was one of the things we talked about two weeks ago yeah i, I think it's still in a similar possession to two weeks ago uh mostly because i didn't do anything yeah let's let's a, excuse d- during vacation, d- during right? during last week yeah. um so I have a pretty good idea of the steps I need to do. And at this point, it's more a question to sit down and do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I was hoping to get some work done already this week. But like, yeah, I feel like with all this stuff in my email inbox and catch up from vacation, ca- catch up. And it feels like there's always something else coming up that mm. kind of needs my attention. And that's really annoying me. Um, but at some point I, I should probably just, I don't know, open my calendar, reserve a day or two for just this and ignore yeah. everything else. Uh-huh. And, uh, there's always this, this urge to basically complete all other tasks and then uh, tasks and then focus on, on the in-app messages, but maybe I'm doing this all wrong and should just like ignore all stuff, all other stuff for a while. and just make some progress there and then do catch mm-hmm. up again. Um, yeah. Yeah. Still have to figure it out. <laughs> have you, have you experimented with that where you'll like pull open your week and block out specific times? This is when I'm going to do this. Yeah. I, I tried it a little bit. Um, and usually like it, it works, it, it works well in terms of making progress on this one thing. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like afterwards, like everything else in, is in chaos and uh, it takes me another week to <laughs> just catch up on all the mm-hmm. other stuff and apologize to people that I didn't reply to their email in time. Uh, but yeah, that part feels like I'm doing anyways, <laughs> not replying to email. Um, so yeah, but I feel like for the sake of getting this done, I should probably just like, dedicate a week or so to it and ignore everything else Mm -hmm. yeah or i mean people i've I've done pulled this off with like varying degrees of success um, (laughs) in in different seasons and just the whole thing of i i spend 45 minutes in the morning replying to emails and then i shut my email all day long um and then open it back up for 30 minutes at the end of the day usually that's that's really enough. Um, I that is not my that's not my current workflow. I'm saying when I when I have done that in the past and been able to like stick to it as a routine, it has felt really really good. Um, and that's part of why I'm asking you like, what what is what is your process and what's your flow for um, chunking out like. Yeah, we work. We work for ourselves. You gotta have admin. Time. Yeah, you gotta like yeah send invoices and double back double check on invoices and do taxes and blah blah blah. Um, then you also have to do actual work for clients. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I'm curious if you how you block that out. Yeah, I feel like at this point I don't really have a process in place. Mm-hmm. I tried the, the time blocking for a while that kind of worked. Yeah. But I feel like recently it's just I I guess it's um I guess working user list is, is way too much fun. So I do a little bit of it every day, like yeah. Yeah, even if it's just thinking about something or um doing some marketing activity or fixing a bug and earning support tickets. So that's already spread out and sprinkled throughout everything. And then I try to fit everything else in between, I guess. Yep. <laughs> but that ends up with a big pile of chaos, basically. And that's not, not really helpful as well. 
So a pile of chaos because you feel like it gets it gets neglected and then like like a, just like a pile of chaos in, in in terms of my focus and switching uh -huh. between things too often and not like not spending enough time getting into the flow and mm -hmm. getting some decent work done and yeah basically mm -hmm. ignoring everything else as i said and i feel like especially with with new feature development getting into into it and really like thinking through everything takes a decent amount of time right but i'm not getting it at the moment like it it's not enough to just like try to move this forward one hour per day that's that's not enough time to get meaningful work done i guess yeah yeah it ne it needs large chunks of time where you can focus on yeah, and, that forget about everything else and and i'm i'm having trouble get, get carving out those chunks of time at the moment on yeah yeah i should i should think about something and maybe maybe as i said just ignoring everything for a while is a, is a viable option <laughs> well or or it or at least feeling like the time that you're giving to paying attention to those things is scheduled and you know the yeah time time box like it, you're not going to allow it to explode into a several hour you know several yeah. hour thing in the morning yeah Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, basically coaching myself right now and reminding myself to get back to <laughs> to that sort of routine. Yeah, as I said, I, I it used to like the time boxing used to work for some reason it doesn't work in the in the last couple of months. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm just not deliberate enough in in doing it and just like allowing too many things to interrupt me and and take my attention away yeah do you do you feel like do you feel like it's fair to say that 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 process doesn't work or that you you didn't stick to it long enough to allow it to work i think it's more like me not sticking to it or me not following the rules and, and setting the boundaries and just yeah. allowing everything yeah. else to interfere with it and yeah yeah that's i mean that's that's how it feels for me too is just like scheduling those things and then like you put it really well like not following the rules i mean follow your own rules brian uh um, <laughs> yeah and uh okay i th do the you thing, go ahead do you plan your week like on mondays or so i've i i when i do th things go much better Mm -hmm. Um, I have, I have not sat down and planned my week in probably the last month or two. And so what, what has ended up happening is my, I mean, I've got, you know, a Calendly for bright and early podcast and a Calendly for just booking time with me. And so what I've, what I've been doing is just that, that each of those calendars can grab any block of time during my workday that is open. And mm -hmm. so, you know, it, it ends up what I've been noticing happening is that every single, every single day of my week, it can, it can be, um, just there, there's an, there's an interruption in the morning and in the afternoon interruption. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good stuff, but like, um, it, it, it gives me the sense of, oh, well, I can't just turn everything off for five hours on Tuesday morning because I have, you know, I have this call at nine and then I have another one at 1230. And so, okay, I'm going to, I need to, maybe I'll do like a little bit of admin there or you, you know what I mean? And so yeah, as opposed yeah. to saying, okay, the only time that I can book that I will book calls is Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Um, and like Friday afternoon, you know, some, some, something like that, 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 that sets up some boundaries there. Um, I haven't done that in the past because I'm just like, uh, yeah, whatever, you know, I, I want to be sure that this call happens this week or next week, not four weeks from now. Um, yeah. it's important. I either want to meet the person or I, you know, it needs to happen soon. Um, that, that kind of thing that, that I feel like, as I'm just reflecting on this, this part of the conversation, why have I started to slip from feeling like I 
I, my, my week is nice and scheduled and routine. Um, it's, it's because of, it's because I just have allowed it to be like too haphazard, um, to allow other people to get time on my calendar, which is important, which I value, which I want, but I need to probably bring rein it in just a little bit so that it, it gets mm. pulled into a process that, that works for me so that I know, Mondays and Wednesdays, I work from home, um, you know, on my like multiple like screen home office where I have three monitors set up and like deep dev work. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I work from the co working space with just my laptop and I'm doing uh, and I'm writing or, you know, researching or, or something like that. That's what I'm feeling like I need to reintroduce because that's what has allowed me to get into a good routine and good flow and. Uh, feel feel some rhythm in my life yeah 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 i guess like limiting the days you're available for calls probably will already help like i feel like one call can ruin the productivity of an entire day when it's like not at the beginning or the end of the day um and just like in between and that just like yeah yeah prevents any any deep work from happening just because you don't even allow yourself to to get into the flow and into the zone yeah um, because you know you have to take this call in in an hour or so totally yes you're totally right i mean this 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 works out perfectly because for me it's 8 a it's 8 a.m for me when we have this call scheduled so beginning of my day and it's at the end of your day right is yeah, it four, is less, it four yeah. o'clock when we start? The, yeah, four o'clock. Okay, four o'clock yeah. for you. Um, yeah, so that's that's interesting because this this never this always this always feels like kicking my getting my day off to a good to a good start. Not oh yeah, I've got that call. <laughs> um, and it's be, it's because it happens at a time that is not distracting or interruptive. It like gets things off on the right foot. It's the exact opposite. Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should exper well, okay. I was gonna say maybe I should experiment with only doing calls either at eight or four, but every day of the week or something something like that. But that, that just feel like feels that, like with clients. That yeah, might be clients. difficult yeah. for, for clients and so, yeah. so but like just limiting your, your slots to like two days a week or so mm -hmm. is probably already helpful because then you can well, basically, also like just pile on all the other small work on those two days. Like, let's say you have to do a little bit of accounting or send some invoices, then you can do stuff like that between the calls on 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 your call Tuesdays or something yeah. like that. Yes, yeah, that's a really that's a good idea. Like, I mean, it makes complete. It sounds obvious now to say it out loud, but like to schedule <laughs> admin work. Um, rather than just, oh yeah, I, did I, did I, did I send that invoice? Let me just check on that randomly at Wednesday at two thirteen, um, <laughs> which, yeah. which is what, yeah. Self-employment often totally, totally feels like. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to make a note for us to, uh, to chat about that next week. Cause that's what I'm going to, I'm going to get off of this call. And that's what I'm going to do um, is update my Calendly <laughs> availability. <laughs> um, all right. Well, any anything else we can we can go ahead and I think start to wrap this wrap this week up. Anything else you want to talk about before we before we go? Uh, I just want to mention that tomorrow or today, when you're hearing this, uh, is a new edition of the user list uh, office hours. Sweet. Uh, Eleven a.m. EST, I think userlist.io slash office dash hours um, if you want to join. And please join because like last time was pretty disappointing. It was just like one one guy. Okay. Uh, yes. So, yeah. If All if right. you, Brian, have some time, <laughs> please join. <laughs> I well let's let's see. Thursdays at nine o'clock. Is that going to am I, is that gonna be a uh, a meeting block? <laughs> No. That's yeah. okay. That's really that, cool. That's so, how it happens. How so, do you ruin the day of productivity? <laughs> no. So user list IO office dash hours. And then will is there like going to be a sign up 
or is it it's just, just a open. link to a zoom call and you can just click on it and we'll join the call well, uh, yeah talk, talk to you I, next week i guess i, well, I was <laughs> gonna say talk to you next week i'm probably gonna talk to you tomorrow morning in office hours true <laughs> true <laughs> all right see ya bye